There's been plenty of cheering at the arena at the 2015 NCHA Great American Insurance Summer Spectacular. And the reason for that is the Junior Youth Scholarship Final. I've got the winner here, Ryan Rapp, who rode Spooky's Time to Shine and got an awesome score of 229. Well done, Ryan. Thank you. How did it feel when you finished that run and you saw that score up there on the board? Honestly, when I was walking out, I couldn't see the score. The judges stand, everybody cheered, and I couldn't see it. The judges stand was blocking it, so I ended up peeking my head out and looking over, and I couldn't believe it when I saw it was up there. You must have heard the cheering, though. Oh, yeah. I, you know, my horse definitely heard it, too. I could feel him like, step it up a level when everybody really got to cheering. He loves that. So... How did the run feel? Take us through it. It felt, you know, I wish I had cut my first cow a little better. It wasn't the best cut, but I mean, it wasn't like I had a bunch of traffic out there, but um, I got her cut and she um, was good there and she got pushing on me pretty, and we had to push her off and then we finally got a spot to quit and then um, then I went back and cut my second cow and she was good there, and but she never gave me a spot to quit and she got to pushing on me really good. And we, I mean, first two cows were pretty, pretty tough there at the end and then she um lindy and my dad and all them got Lind my dad and pete got her off and then um and then i went and chipped that la that last cow just ran, ran out there and i got her cl uh, pretty cleanly trotted up there and threw my hand down boy she was a good cow for not we didn't know what she was going to do we just you know, cut a chip and she was a real good cow and that's what made the run i knew it was going to be something big after that so do you like to watch the cows? Do you really like to study and get, get you know, schooled on that? It's always it, it's always a good learning deal because, I mean, you're going to, if you're wanting to do this for a lot longer, you're going to need to know how to do that. And um, my mom and my dad are really great in that. My mom, I mean, they, and I think I about got it down where they don't have to explain everything to me, but there's still a lot to learn. Okay, now most teenagers don't like to listen to their parents. You just happen to have two of the probably most well-known people in the sport of cutting, Marianne and Phil Rapp. Um, obviously, you're listening to them in the arena at home. It's hard not to. <laughs> Especially, it's hard not to. You can hear in that little arena, it gets them echoing. It. It's really hard not to. So what are some of the things that have really stuck and helped you when you come out and show well, that you've learned from them? It's just, I mean, just cutting and the... Um, not being too aggressive but not being too passive either and just just the it, it really cutting is like a big thing that I learned and then when to use um, the cow side leg when you need to and when to hold them up and I mean that was that was a big part too. So this is a scholarship fund that um, you've just won money towards is scholarship is college on the cards or is training horses on the cards or both i have no option on the college i have to go to college that i asked they said you're going to college you have no option there so i said okay so i'm going to college and i don't think i'll be a trainer uh, while i'm going to college but i don't i don't know what the future will hold but you know god's got it all in his hands he's got cards laid out and one of the things we haven't talked about yet is the horse spooky's time to shine um so tell us about this horse. You've actually had a um, relationship with this horse for a little while now. Yes, ma'am. Um, we got we got him. We bought him in January. I think it was a charity sale. It was. I could, and um, she and he was. Um, my mom showed him as a stallion, and we bought him as a stallion. And uh, we castrated him. We just you know we didn't really need a stud. My mom didn't want one. She's pretty quick with a knife, if you know what I mean. But. Um, so we castrated him, and he, I loped him um, before he's done. After he's so there's a big difference. And um, he was mean. He was, and, but he's a real nice, sweet horse now. And and it's just, it's he's a lot better to get along with afterwards. So obviously you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna keep showing this horse and keep notching up those earnings. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna show him until he tells me he's done. When he's done, he's done. My my parents will tell me when he's done. I might. When he's done, I might give him over to my sister. May, might. Or he's going to live out in pasture, one of the two. Well, if college doesn't work out, if training doesn't work out, I think you could definitely have a career as a stand-up comic, for sure. Well, that'd be all right. I hear they get paid pretty good, and they work an hour a day, so that, I might, I, I'd be all right with that. I'd get to travel everywhere and um, look and see a bunch of different sites. I wouldn't stand-up community would be all right with me. It'll be interesting to, to watch you continue to cut, and congratulations. Great effort. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you very much.